Hello and welcome back here to a set of course so we are standing at the start line of layout number three of the HTC series. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. So big thank you to Hexer for hooking me up with this layout three so we're going to do how we've done every layout so far we're going to do the quick drive through of the course as and then go full board so we are in my hdc 350 so we are going to do a course roll second gear so this one has a very tight entry shoot into a pretty tight little left hander here gotta be make sure you stay off the wall and don't hit the cones and immediately to a right hander which goes into a pretty narrow shoot into the left hander here with a little wall clip there on the end that we're supposed to go for one there and one there and then we go into the basically jersey barrier shoot with a little clip at the end which goes into the first first little box turn and that first little box turn goes into this really tight area with cones and a hanging little barrel that we gotta try and knock down with the back of the car, which goes into another little tight box turn. Hopefully I don't do that when I actually run the run. And this box turn goes into another basically 90 degree left-hander with a little entry tap that we're gonna try and take out. So this course is a lot of very tight corners and a lot of very tight sections definitely a very cool track so then we do have the nice little sweep there into a really quick box turn area which if you forget it's there uh, well you're screwed and you lose that then into another tight section with walls and the walls are not very forgiving on this track I'm just putting that out there and there's just a few little sweeps into probably one of my favorite sections but a very dangerous section at that because you're gonna try and reach out and tag those four hanging basically noodles on the wall without totally you know biffing it into the concrete wall and then that will immediately run us to a very hard narrow exit path through the outside of the course so it's a very straightforward course there's only one thing that you could really miss and that is that one like box corner that it comes out of right of a turn so we're gonna heat up our tires a little bit and we're gonna go full send All right, so let's see if we can do this without totally biffing it on the first try. Throw it in the chute. Really hard 90. Took a one or two little cones out there, not too terrible. Got that one. Missed the second one into this little chute. Take that out. Oh, those things actually... Uh, Kind of mess with the car a smidge, so it's something to be mindful of that it will mess with the car a little bit. Kind of took out some cones there into this little box turn, and we kind of got offline and came on a drift there. Enter in, we got that one. There's not much angle really in this course, it's mostly just trying to uh, make the course. And this is that one box turn. I said, if you missed, you're screwed. We were kind of right on it. Kind of stalled the car. Oh, and there's our first wall hit. So we're unable to get this run nice and smooth, but we're gonna try it again. And I ripped it into the walls. I need to get more angle in that part if I wanna hit those. And like I said, a very narrow exit. So for the first run out, we definitely did not do the greatest. So we're actually gonna reset the course here gonna restart the session and we're gonna go and try and get this again because well I don't really want to you know wreck too too much and try and get a clean run here for this and then we'll take a look at the replay camera of course if we can get a smooth run all right attempt number two much better since that section. Just a just a little bump on that cone. I don't think that's too big of a deal. Got both of those. That cone kind of sent me this way. Kind of sent me off a little bit. 
didn't miss that one. We almost didn't make it into that box turn. I was surprised we didn't biff the car totally onto the wall. And we did it again. Those turns are definitely, you need to be on point with that turn. Otherwise, you are going to have a bad time. This course I did here was one of the most complicated ones of the layouts that we've had. And well, I can say from experience, this layout's tough. You have to be on your game for this layout for sure. Okay, got that, and oh, come on, <laughs> exited out not the cleanest at all, but a run nonetheless. We're going to try one more session on that, and then we're going to watch a replay of it to better how bad it is, because starting to get the feel of the track. This gear ratio is going to have to be different for this track because than the other ones, because of it's very tight and you gotta keep wheel spin up because you wanna stay in drift. You wanna try and well obviously stay in drift as much as you can. This track is very unforgiving. Once again, a big thank you to Hexer for hooking me up with this. So let's go. Let's see what we can do with this one. Here we go. Okay, so we can ride up the jersey barriers a little bit at the back end of our car, so. We got that. Oh, I mean, that's alright if we just gently tap it out with the front of our car. We got those this time, so this run is, I think, other than taking out the front of those cones, and a couple cones throughout this is probably our best run at this thing right now. That's be honestly the easiest box turn out of the two. Because you kind of set an angle right there. So it in. Oh no. Stay in angle. We pro oh. <laughs> and we biffed it into the wall. So let's take a look at the replay of that. This track is definitely going to take a lot of of practice for sure. Let's get to the line and see this track is going to take a lot of practice and a lot of work to make sure that you are on point and not hitting everything. That supercharged 350 just screaming down the chute. We were looking pretty solid in the beginning. Little hesitation there. Oh, that's where we went up on the Jersey Barriers. Kind of set me off course for there, but we managed to somehow keep it alive. We've demolished that wall cone. And that one was just, just a little bump. Our little, our, you know, front barrier got it. That one was perfect. Our front uh, crash bar got that one. That one was uh, even better. Kind of had to fishtail it back into this section. Got a couple cones. For a third run out, not too bad of a run. Gonna have to definitely dial the car's tune in because that's gonna make or break how the car reacts in this track because this track is very finesse, very fine line between you're good or you're bad. And as you can see right there, there was a not good, definitely not good. And then I tried to get too close to the wall and I took the wall hard. So. We're going to give it one more shot, but we're going to go back to default setups. Store to default. I'm going to leave my tires how they are. And we're going to leave the gears and everything. We're going to run it on default setup. So let's get the wheel cam and everything turned back on. We're going to try running this in default. With my car's default settings. And see what we can do. See if we can get a full run without totally screwing up. Twenty-eight psi all the way around on tires. Definitely a very stiff gear ratio right now. A three nine.
and that three nine makes us have to go from third or fourth to third, but. I mean, other than that, so far, we're not doing too terrible. I want to get that last sweeper down really well. We left a break there. Into the... Okay. Yeah, these, these walls don't forgive, and you have to be on point. So this layout is definitely going to take a lot of practice to get right and not smack into things. See, because I'm, I'm trying to go too close to that wall and it keeps knocking me out of angle. So things that I'm going to have to practice with and get ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on A Set of Course Up. Big thank you to Hexer for hooking me up with the track. Going to be doing some more practice on this track and hopefully I can get a full run without any hiccups. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.